If your hand hurts and it hurts real bad, or if you have feelings that are making you sad, then it's okay, it's okay to cry. We begin this half hour with that extreme cold and a rare winter storm hitting the south. Yeah, some parts of the Carolinas could see as much as half a foot of snow before this is all over. The National Weather Service has issued winter storm watches and warnings from Virginia all the way down to the Gulf Coast. Tumblr is pissed. We are talking about a flurry of special snowflakes the likes of which none of us have ever seen before. Now I know that propaganda arm of the U.S. government, the Weather Channel is trying to convince the populace to stay calm, that nothing's out of the ordinary, and that that cold snap we're experiencing is really Winter Storm Leon coming in from Canada. But I know the truth. Tumblr has escaped its internet hug box and is wreaking havoc across the southern United States in a little weather event I like to call TISM 2014. So just who is responsible for this Ragnarok of retards, this end days of hypersensitivity and privilege checking? That would be a YouTube user by the name of Jello Apocalypse. And what exactly was this grievous sin that has brought the wrath upon him and the rest of the internet? He made a video. A video titled, Welcome to Tumblr. That was his first mistake. His second mistake was allowing the video to be funny. Because God knows, if Tumblr hates anything, it's fucking humor. They just can't stand it. It's like they're kryptonite. But of course, this being Tumblr, home of the most rational and sensible individuals on the internet, they are probably mostly upset with the fact that he maliciously targeted them, specifically going after their user base. Now, if he had, say, I don't know, gone after sites like YouTube or Facebook or Twitter or even DeviantArt, maybe they wouldn't have been so upset. Looking at his YouTube history, it's clear to see he specifically hates Tumblr and Tumblr alone. At no other time has he made a video just like this one about any other website out there. Not at all. Now, for those of you brave enough to want to go look at this bigot's hate propaganda, I'll put a link of it in the video description. But just be warned, every time you laugh, an Ethiopian child is beaten by a racist white man just because he's black and a baby. Now, for the more sensible of you out there that don't want to be put on a terrorist watch list for watching this horrific video, luckily we have Tumblr who can filter it for us and explain why these people that enjoy it are terrible, horrible human beings. First up, we have the insanity of humanity. And they write, Dear people coming to my inbox defending welcome to Tumblr, please come up with an original fucking argument. I've got people whining about, but it's true, you're overreacting, you're what the video is complaining about, ah ha ha ha, and every goddamn message I've got. Get a real argument. We've explained before why the video is bad, and we've had perfectly good reasons. Just because the video is true, or that we're acting just like the people in the video, doesn't mean the video wasn't fucking gross. Please, get that through your skull. The video was disgusting, and no amount of, it's true, wah, is gonna change that. Good day. Hashtag, not a reblog. What a sensible argument. Just because it's true, doesn't mean that it's true. Up next we have Angel with a Pie. They're responding because Anonymous asked, It makes me laugh how many people can't understand what Welcome to Tumblr is actually mocking. It's mocking people that fake the illness as you dense fucking faggot. Their response? I don't fucking care. It makes fun of mental illness. I don't care if it was aimed at people who fake it. It makes fun of mental illness and self-harm. Bridgepons writes, can we pretend the Welcome to Tumblr video never happened? Ever? I don't know, guys. Just, I know that people keep saying it's satire and stuff like that, but some of the things that they discussed in that video were pretty fucking serious, and I don't think it's something to be made fun of. Hashtag, I'm sorry, they're just certain topics that shouldn't be joked around with. Ebelflula writes, Okay, you know what? I'm just going to go all out and give my thoughts on that video that's been going around Tumblr.com recently. Hashtags, social justice, jello apocalypse, please read this. Well, it seems like this could be important. It seems like Elulula might have a point, so let's go jump the cut and read what they have to say. Why everyone is mad about that Welcome to Tumblr video. I'm going to try to use as little buzzwords as possible here, because I know whenever a straight white man... Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Are you a white, straight, middle-class male with a penis who is totally comfortable having said penis? Get out. Reblog! Here's them. Their brain does this. I get it. I used to be the same way. So first of all, yes, Tumblr can be a really shitty. Just as shitty as any other social networking site can be. There are a lot of valid points brought up in the video, but unfortunately, they were overshadowed by some pretty bad ones. This site attracts a lot of young people, mostly in their mid to late teens, who are just beginning to figure out their sexual identity. Why? I don't know. The same reason Reddit attracts fedora-wearing misogynists. 
it doesn't matter. Claiming that they are just faking it for attention is pretty harmful. It can cause them to repress those feelings, which could then manifest themselves in some other ways. Basically, you're telling these young people to hate who they are, and you're mocking them when they are at their most vulnerable. Tumblr is considered by many to be a safe space, but this does not apply to white, straight, cis, oh no, a buzzword people. To them, everywhere is a safe space. To paraphrase a quote from social activist Jane Elliott, when oppressed people get tired of prejudice, they can't just walk away from it. They can't even stay in their own home and not be exposed to it when they turn on the television. So if you're white, straight, cis, there's that weird alien word again, oh Jesus, and you're offended by what people on Tumblr are saying about your people? There's a solution. Just log off. Get out. Reblog! Sad Princess responds to Anonymous Asked. Fucking loved the Welcome to Tumblr video. Most accurate video of Tumblr I've ever seen. Their response? Ah ha ha ha, no. Altogether irritating and whiny. Cis het white tears poured into one badly animated, annoying video. And once again we see Tumblrs help somebody discover their identity, as their user icon matches their personality of being a bitch. Arnold J. Rimmer, not to be confused with Rimjob, posts, According to the Welcome Tumblr video, you're a fucking idiot if you do or are any of the following. Do not feel comfortable in your own body. Do not conform to the gender binary. Are transgender. Want human rights. Want to die. Self-harm. Don't like your life. Get offended, just don't be offended, lol. Have fun. Feel uncomfortable around white cishead males. Are not a very talented artist. Do not agree with everyone you meet. Have an opinion are not well known, get upset by certain things, offend an overly sensitive white cis guy who makes rants in the form of YouTube videos, are a fan of anything, comfort a friend when they are sad, like what making someone feel happy is creepy, own a Tumblr account, basically if you fucking exist, hashtags fuck that video, hashtag report it, let's see if we can get it taken down, in fact I think I may have been wrong, this definitely is a rim job, because this user sucks shit, queer than thou writes. Not only is the Welcome to Tumblr video transphobic, cis-sexist, it's also really ableist with its attack on self-diagnosis, along with its portrayal of mental illnesses. Sometimes self-diagnosis is the only method available. I wasn't able to assess my mental health care for years, but after my second hospitalization, my self-diagnosis was proven right when I was diagnosed by a doctor with BDP and depression, along with a couple of other things I'm not going to go into. If I hadn't self-diagnosed, I would have been going through years where I was unable to receive mental health care without the help I received online. I honestly may have ended up dead, but of course the skill I used was scorned because I'm a teenager on the internet. Fooly Coolies posts. The thing is, that Welcome to Tumblr video could have been witty satire about the flaws of the Tumblr community. It could have been a video pointing out white privilege and people denying it. Transphobic or racist assholes or people who won't tag for triggers and such. You know, a bigger problem on Tumblr. What it did, however, was not to point out those flaws to try and change them. It make jokes at the expense of oppressed groups. You know, given the assholes listed above, more fuel, which some would consider the opposite of satire. I'd even call it anti-satire, to be honest. Because instead of pointing out and poking fun at privileged assholes, they pointed out and poked fun at the oppressed. Just because someone's making fun of something doesn't mean it's satire. Christ. Hashtags last post about this, I promise. Hashtag delete later maybe. Clearly this user is insane. Luckily for her, Queer Than Thou can help diagnose that. Pumpkin Snuffle writes, Okay, real talk. The Welcome to Tumblr video is an actual piece of shit, and this is coming from someone who agrees with the message it was originally trying to convey. Hashtag trash life. Hashtag transphobia trigger warning. Hashtag mental illness trigger warning. Hashtag self-harm trigger warning. I'm just going to go through the whole video from start to finish, since otherwise this post is going to be a clusterfuck of angry rambling. It starts off okay by pointing out some of Tumblr's faults in a tongue-in-cheek way, and then suddenly, transphobia because making fun of intersex and trans people is so funny, am I right? And also racism. Yeah, man, blackface is hilarious. Damn, it's so hard being a white cis hetero person on Tumblr.corn. Wow, they really said that. Okay. And also racism. Yeah, black... <laughs> wow. And also racism. Yeah, man, blackface is hilarious. Damn, it's so hard being a white cis hetero person on Tumblr.corn. So much harder than being LGBTQ and or a person of color in real life, obviously. Bam, mental illness shaming. Don't get me wrong, I know the video was trying to convey that self-diagnosis is an irritating and fucked up trend on the website, which I 1,000... How many zeros is that? Alright. 
which I 1 million percent agree with. However, it devolves from there into a mess of anxiety isn't a thing, lol lol lol, and you don't have OCD, you just have weird habits, ha ha ha. And then the most ridiculous thing of all, which I cannot believe anyone would have the stupidity to make fun of, self-harm. Yeah, that's right. You're just self-harming for attention. There's no way anyone on the site can possibly be dealing with situations and problems beyond your imagination. Nah, someone who cuts is just doing it for the fucking attention. You know what? I can't even keep watching this shit. It was hard enough the first time around, but I'm getting, like, genuinely upset trying to watch it a second time. The bottom line is, there's a difference between snide humor and complete and utter fucking ignorance. And this video doesn't just cross the line. It, like, brings in a bulldozer to demolish the line, and then it sets the line on fire and sends it into very deep space, never to be seen or heard from again. The line is gone, and may or may not have vanished from existence entirely. We simply don't know. It's a mystery. And basically, if you thought this video was funny, unfollow me right now. I don't need people like you, and I don't need people who agree with this fucked up message. With all those hashtags and trigger warnings, I can't believe they forgot hashtag overreaction. Spook Jess, who apparently has no self-awareness in choosing a name with spook in it and its racist connotations, writes, Seriously, please don't support that Welcome to Tumblr video. I get that the fandom part might be accurate, funny, but it's really transphobic. It makes fun of intersex people, uses slurs, makes fun of trigger warnings, and people with mental illnesses. Just please, don't try to excuse it, JFC. I don't know what JFC means. So much of that stuff said in the video is not okay. In an exchange that can be best described as utterly fucking retarded, Ask Redenthal says, wow, just wow. Trans because fuck you responds, get the shit out of here, you nasty fuck. Ask Redenthal responds again, you do realize you are proving the first point in the video. Trans because fuck you responds, you do realize you're defending a transphobic, racist, ableist video, right? Ask Redenthal responds, it is none of those things. To which trans because fuck you closes. It literally uses transphobic and ableist words. It's transphobic and ableist. Bugblush has this to say. Bashing people who are getting offended about the Welcome to Tumblr video by saying they just can't take the joke, it's satire, or if you get offended you're just proving the video right, doesn't make the video any less shitty because of its blatant ableism, racism, transphobia, etc. Not to mention it's boo-hoo, I'm a white straight cis male and I can't fit in here vibe it throws off. If you think that making fun of anxiety disorders, blackface, triggers, self-harm, and all the other things this video does is satire and funny, then you are a piece of shit. There's no other way of putting it. Hashtag, seriously, you are scum. Hashtag, total shit. And this post has 27 notes on it. Probably from people trying to figure out what video this idiot watched, because it sure as shit wasn't Welcome to Tumblr. Heart of Dixie posts. Perks of being deaf. I cannot hear half the bullshit in that Welcome to Tumblr video, which I am told is a mass of transphobia, misogyny, racism, body shaming, ableism, and so, so much more. Heart of Dixie may consider adding the hashtags gullible idiot and will believe anything somebody writes. Team Dead Dork says, Oh my god, I finally watched that Welcome to Tumblr video. Do not watch it. It is highly offensive, and I only got through a minute of it, and the video is just eight minutes of racist transphobic bullshit. Not to mention it makes fun of mental disorders like anxiety and reduces Tumblr users to slit-wrist emo art thieves who pretend to have disorders and people who pretend to be trans just to fit in. Hashtag geez, hashtag racism, hashtag trigger warning racism, hashtag trigger warming transphobia, hashtag transphobia, hashtag don't watch the video. Apparently Team Dead Dorks is a magical being that's able to decipher an entire video only watching one minute of it. How he came to the conclusion that it's racist transphobic bullshit from watching merely a minute of an eight minute long video amazes me. But I'm going to be sure to ask him what the lotto numbers are next week. Someone who obviously had a stroke when they were choosing their username wrote, If you think that Welcome to Tumblr video is funny, relatable, totally fine, and people are overreacting to being offended by it, etc., please unfollow me. Don't worry, I don't think anyone was following you to begin with. By the fault lines post. All I'm going to say on the issue of the Welcome to Tumblr video is that it's an extremely shallow and narrow-minded view of a diverse global online community. I can take a joke, but nothing in this video is funny. Humor is a matter of taste, but if you think anything in that video is funny or lol so true, then your taste is bullshit. If you think it is a funny joke or a parody, you aren't welcome anywhere near me. Bye. Hashtag UG. Ableism. Racism. Sexism. Violence. Trigger word violence, transphobia, and judging by the user icon, this person suffers from some medical disease that makes it impossible to look at a camera when taking a picture of themselves. Hopefully they find a cure one day. Hopefully. Globix85 writes, 
Okay, a new rule is in effect. If I ever see the Welcome to Tumblr video on my dash, the post will be blocked, and if you're not a friend of mine, you will be unfollowed. Why, you may ask? Because I don't think making fun of some things that are legitimately serious issues to people is acceptable, and the video is in very poor taste. I'm not a very easily offended person, but watching that video got me thinking, dude, what the hell are you thinking? Some subjects are simply not to be talked about. Hashtag new rules. Well, that was enlightening. Thank God Tumblr users were there to warn us off of this video. Obviously made by an MRA who hates women and probably abuses children. A video so vile and so chock full of sexism and racism and misogyny and transphobia and just all the isms and phobias that can be crammed in there by a, a bigoted, hateful person that obviously Jello Apocalypse must be because everybody on Tumblr has said so. Why, there was one gentleman who only watched a minute of it. Not even the whole thing, but he could tell you everything in the video. There was even a deaf person who can't fucking hear what the video is saying. But they know. They know. Now sure, most of those posts look like a game of internet telephone, just regurgitating the same buzzwords and bullshit from Tumblr blog to Tumblr blog, almost as if these people never even really watched it, but were just saying what they thought others wanted to hear, and becoming hypersensitive and ultra-defensive because somebody happened to shine a spotlight of comedy on their little community. Now I'm curious if any of you noticed what I did. And a majority of those posts, and a majority of the posts that are upset on Tumblr and elsewhere about this particular video, they all fall back on a common issue. It's a common thread in all of them. Cis, hetero, white, male. That is the accusation, if it can even be called an accusation, that they throw against Jello Apocalypse. Like somehow that, that makes his video not funny, or not on point. That they can just lob that at him. That, oh, he's a straight white male, fuck him. They all did it. It came up time and time again, as if that was some uh, explanation for why they had a right to be offended. Because a white man made a video that happened to poke fun at them, suddenly it's okay to get offended and not find the video funny. These are people that always bitch about diversity and equality, yet the second a white guy does something, they hate it. They hate it point blank. They don't give a shit. It's something to be discarded and thrown away. Check your privilege! Reblog!